Welcome back on this Monday as we are watching residents in Napa Valley return to find nothing left of their homes. Boy, can we relate to their agony right here in San Diego. This morning, some locals are continuing to help families here in San Diego who've been impacted from all sorts of things. We have Kathleen Meat from the San Diego Disaster Fund in this morning, along with Greg Angel from Interfaith Services. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Kathleen, I'm going to start with you. What is the San Diego Disaster Fund? The San Diego Foundation established the Regional Disaster Fund after the 2007 fires. We saw a need for being able to step in following the immediate recovery efforts, the immediate response efforts. Um, there are four stages to a disaster. There's the immediate response, recovery, rebuilding, and then resilience for future disasters. And it's at that second and third stage that we really feel it's necessary to be able to have funds available to help families who are trying to rebuild their lives. So at this point, you would ask for donations from the public. Is that how you would be able to raise the money? To Correct. To help? So the fund responds to the disaster. It's available. And while the immediate responders are making sure that people have a place to stay and food to eat and water to drink, the funds are coming in. And then we work with organizations such as Interfaith Community Services in the rebuilding efforts as people are beginning to think about where they're going to live and what clothes they're going to to wear and how they're going to eat. We're beginning to see some of that today in Houston and Puerto Rico, weeks and months after those disasters. The immediate response is there, but then what happens weeks later right. when we can't people leave still these people place. at that mm -hmm. point yeah exactly. so Greg, let's bring in you on the conversation yeah. as well the money is raised and now we're at stage two and three mm -hmm. after this disaster has mm -hmm. taken place what are the needs of people at that point point? and your organization actually put the money to good use that's right so in 2007 uh, there were families who uh, lost everything and uh, despite having insurance the the road back to rebuilding a home and a life um, is a long and complicated one. So we worked with communities, with Rancho Bernardo, with Escondido, um, to help individuals and families navigate that road and, and get back into a home of their own. Would that be finding them a rental unit or a car? I can't maybe be, be more specific on where the money was put to use. Yes. Yeah, so both, um, it was both uh, creating a plan to rebuild, it was finding temporary housing, um, and there were also um, some really uh, hidden, hidden needs and hidden wounds from that fire. Um, many of the homes were places of employment, yes. and so there were domestic workers, landscape professionals who had no, had no, who had lost their jobs as a result of that. Right. With the San Diego Foundation's help, we trained individuals, helped them find um, new employment. Um, and then there are also a number of families um, who had no insurance. Mm. And for them, uh, they really had the most difficult challenge ahead. And with the support of the foundation, we purchased prefabricated mobile home units and allowed families to move into a new home of their own and then through sweat equity, they actually took ownership of those units to not only have a place to live, but have a building block for their financial future. Looking back, you know, it has been 10 years since those fires, and we've got weather like within our county just today. Yes. What advice do you have for people uh, who, you know, we forget sometimes what it was like to go through that, just to be prepared? Any advice for folks out there? Yeah, be prepared. Have. Um, have a plan, yes. first of all. Um, this fire, just like the one this last week, happened on a Sunday night in 2007. Uh, most people woke up to evacuation calls. Um, people uh, who lost their homes lost almost everything they had except for what they could quickly put into a car and escape. So have a plan, have your most important items together and be ready uh, if the call comes. Uh, pay attention to all of the emergency response activity that um, the Red Cross, the police, the firefighters send out in terms of clearing brush away from your homes, um, making sure that you have water available, etc. Those are the kinds of things, as, as you said, we tend not to think about until the crisis is here. And those response initiatives are available and out there to help remind us every that we need to be prepared. Kathleen Mead and uh, Greg Angel from Interfaith Services and San Diego Disaster Fund. We both appreciate your help this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for, Thanks for having us. As well. All right, Nichelle, let's get back.